I'm popping in with some additional information about the changing educational needs. I will continue to make short video clips when I can if I get new information and you'll be able to recognize the uh, the opening page or the can't, it's a, I'm losing my words but you'll be able to recognize which videos go with this uh, changing educational needs um, I'm not sure how many there will be but I'll pop in and you'll be able to recognize from the cover so I'm just calling this part two uh, so the other deeper, more, um, I don't know, more information coming in or ways to think about new education um, with this new, with the emerging, well, I wouldn't even say emerging, I don't even know what the right word is, but uh, the um, going to a 5D human, let's say, 5D multidimensional human. So one of the reasons in introducing more sensory integration for all ages, but particularly the uh, young kids from baby to in the elementary years is what I'm getting, that um, there needs to be more emphasis and focus on sensory integration, body awareness, uh, which is leading really to full embodiment and what that means. So, the, some of the thoughts that were coming in was if we think of a baby that is born and they're still in that dreamlike state, even in the toddler years and preschool years, um, they have that more of that imagination. Um, they can connect more easily to uh, other realms, let's say. And they don't know that it's not, uh, quote, a normal thing. So um, in those early years and as they are maturing in those elementary school age years is to, is to do more sensory integration, um, more body awareness. So meaning um, even things like teaching uh kids at a young age about self-massage and uh, I was shown that you you can do a lot of education around uh, physiology biology and you probably hear Sammy in the background so she's uh, getting up it's been intense again um, so um, this idea of uh, connecting to the body connecting the spirit to the body through breath, um, self-massage, more body awareness, tactile stimulation, and again, kind of this idea of, um, you know, can uh, training from massage therapists, because they know they work with different body parts, and um, from what I understand, uh, friends that are massage therapists, uh, you know, the fascia tissues and the muscles. There's a lot of biological uh, teaching that can go on around just that kind of self-massage um, and learning to, to soothe themselves. You know, how many of us as adults now are we're working on clearing out um, emotional debris and uh, stuck emotional and mental body kind of um, traumas and things. And so if we start from a young age, uh, teaching them about body and more body awareness, and then that would help them learn more about uh, physical boundaries, their boundaries, what is you know part of their energy field and what's not. And, and obviously for young children, uh, you're gonna use different language, but kind of, uh, getting uh, getting you all that are interested in this thinking in a different way, thinking um, about how you could teach a multitude of different kinds of topics through this sensory integration, what are their senses. But, you know, I mean, they touch on it in school, but, you know, really doing more exploring through their own bodies and body awareness. And 
it might be easier then to identify uh, kids who have synesthesia, right? A uh, crossover of different senses, which probably as we, as a human evolves, is going to become more of the norm uh, in a sense, but kind of learning then identifying uh, will be teachers, um, guides, uh, educational guides, let's say, in schools will be able to kind of more identify these different uh, types of sensory systems in uh, children earlier on and um, then learning to use that as part of their strength, you know, uh, and how to, how to teach them how to navigate. So more of this kind of approach, again, it would cross over um, not just for, you know, quote, special education, but uh, what we call regular education right now, but, uh, you know, sort of all children um, and that we have these different sensory systems and some have strengths in these different areas of uh, senses. So um, uh, this is what I've been getting for the last few days is uh, connecting more body awareness to the physical because what uh, I feel is that more too many people have been disconnected from their inner sense. You know, we call it common sense, inner sense, right? It's all part of sensing and um, sensing through these various multimodal uh, senses that the human has. So, it's about then exploring even kind of in the long run uh, about what does it mean to be human? What are our strengths as humans? What are we here to do? That's kind of the bigger, um, one of the bigger questions, but also then that uh, children from a young age learn to discern, discern about what their energy boundaries are, who they are, uh, more self-awareness, um, and then as they get older, uh, when they get ideas um, of creating, you know, asking, is this something that needs, to, that can be, that uh, should be created? Because there are some things that um, we shouldn't create, even if we have the idea, and this is one of the problems, I feel, that's happened on the planet where scientists can have these brilliant ideas and they want to see if they can do it, but is it good for the planet and is it ethically right to create it? So um, learning to take responsibility of what we're creating and whether it should be created, does it cause harm to the planet or ourselves? Um, and is it in, uh, service to the all, you know, uh, ultimately we're here to maintain these physical bodies for a reason as a soul, uh, as an expression of source that is, uh, seeking an experience, but, um, co-creating responsibly. So those are, those are just some of the thoughts that are kind of coming up in, in thinking about, uh, a new foundation for education. So I hope that's helpful. And again, I'm kind of more the messenger. The information is um, I'm delivering and transmitting it. It's energetic. So, uh, um, you know, there'll be more people obviously who have better uh, ideas of how to implement it. It may um, inspire people to develop kind of these different kinds of curriculums um, based around sensory awareness, sensory integration, you know, body awareness, energy field awareness that then can lead to more uh, teaching about the earth, about our environment, our relationship to nature, feeling the energetics of different animals and plants uh, which then, you know, progresses as they get older into more intellectual kinds of 
information about, um, you know, the biologies, the chemistries, the physics, those kinds of things, the mathematics. So, uh, you know, it all, they, they, they all seem to have this, there is some, some sort of natural progression to that. Um, so anyway, wanted to throw that out for more people. And again, uh, you'll recognize the, if I have any additional information, you'll recognize uh, this series with this cover and, you know, it'll say part three, part four. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how many there will be, but I'll share as I'm inspired to share. So hope everyone is having um, a graceful time as it's uh, really intense leading up to the solstice, uh, the summer solstice of 2023. Lots going on in the background. A lot of um, grid workers doing energy work in the ley lines. So um, you may be feeling it more intensely than others if you are a, a grid worker. So take care. Lots of hugs to everyone.